If the soul of Paganini were to enter your body and pick up your violin, how fast could he play? Oh, I know, it's easy to say that your muscles aren't as developed as his were, which I'm sure is true. Yet still ask yourself, how fast could he play? If only for a dozen measures until your muscles got tired and gave out. Then ask yourself, how long would it take, Paganini, to develop your muscles and to play just as fast and wonderful as he once did? Paganini declared that it would take him two to three weeks, if you were a seasoned professional, and possibly as long as two to three months, if you were a novice, because even though his long, slender fingers and unbelievable flexibility did have its advantages. Never forget that during almost his entire career, Paganini was not a healthy man. This is why Paganini declared at the beginning of this lesson that it truly is all in your mind, and this his most magical lesson of all was designed to change your mind. The first secret of playing unbelievably fast is simply believing that you can. And Paganini removes this huge mental stumbling block in the first few minutes by proving that you can. So, Put your violin back in its case, get comfortable, and let's begin. When it comes to speed, most violinists hit a ceiling that no matter how long or intensely they practice, they can never rise above it. So. Find your favorite stick from becoming one with a metronome and tap it on the table as fast as you possibly can. Now, your other hand. The amazing part is that if you're just an average musician, you just moved both of your hands fast enough to become the fastest violinist in the world. You just need what Paganini called his secrets, triggers, and keys to unlock your mind. Yes, <laughs> you'll need to practice quite a bit. And so will I, since I haven't practiced or played seriously for many years. But starting today, it's now my highest priority until I succeed. And I hope that you'll take this leap of faith with me because when I was 17, this lesson changed my life. Speed is almost meaningless without quality, and I do agree with the two-set violin guys when they criticize almost everyone who claims to be the world's fastest violinist, because it doesn't count unless you play all the notes and make it music. That said, Paganini used his own composition, Moto Perpetuo, to both demonstrate and later judge the final results. Yet, since Paganini isn't available for the initial demonstration, the best YouTube rendition I found for speed and musicality is Augustine Hodelik, who plays Moto Perpetuo around 180 beats per minute, while Menuhin was the fastest at 200. And while there is no recording of Paganini playing Moto Perpetuo, he was said to have performed it wonderfully with brilliant sparkle at 280 beats per minute, which I hope you would agree would put him at the very top of unbelievably fast. So for the sake of setting a goal, let's define unbelievably fast with at least a reasonable amount of quality, somewhere between Menuhin's 200 and Paganini's 280 beats per minute. To get a taste of what we're really talking about,
Take just two more minutes and listen to an early recording of Leonidas Cavacus playing Paganini's Caprice No. 5. Even though it is a really poor quality recording, he does flirt with 220 beats per minute while playing in the style of Paganini. In person, Cavacus really is wonderful, and the only violinist I have ever heard who could make Paganini's canon sound like sparkling diamonds being poured from a silk bag. If you're now saying to yourself that you could never play anywhere near that fast, don't give up hope quite yet. Because if you're willing to follow Paganini's advice, this lesson really is pure magic. So, with our pathetic, underdeveloped muscles, how fast could Paganini really play right now? To find out, Paganini's trigger is to turn our fastest possible tapping into a rhythm that we can learn to control and measure. The rhythm, or pattern, goes like this. And the left hand. Now, set your metronome to 80 beats per minute and become one with it. Next, make Paganini's rhythm one with the metronome. And to finish, tap the rhythm as fast as you possibly can and adjust the metronome to match your speed. It looks like I'm around 124 beats per minute, which is about half as many beats per minute as I need to play. But wait, there's a catch, and it's a beautiful catch, because a violin bow produces one note while going down and another moving back up, which doubles the speed. And at the same time, realize that while one finger on our left hand is being lifted or placed, we have three other fingers and open strings just waiting. Which means that Paganini, even with my hands, could play 248 beats per minute, which is right in the middle of unbelievably fast. 
I can already hear it from dozens if not hundreds of professional violinists and teachers that tapping sticks on the table is not the same as playing the violin. And they would be correct, yet also dead wrong because this process of turning the ultimate speed of tapping into a controllable rhythm is one of the great keys to unlocking our minds and allowing us to play the violin at least that fast. In fact, most professional violinists can already play the violin at 240 beats per minute. It's just usually not controlled. They do it with their right hand while playing tremolo, and with their left hand while playing trills. The real secret is how to bring the two together and then go even faster. The main catch, of course, is time because this lesson requires a higher level of dedication and more consistent practice from beginning to end than any other. For someone like me, this means about four hours a day for the next two to three weeks, or however long it takes. Yet, don't give up hope if you're not willing or able to go there. Because even with a moderate amount of practice, this lesson will help you play faster and better than ever before. So give it a try. But don't be surprised when your results become unbelievable and you decide to start over and put in the time. Your calluses will need to be decent because playing fast means playing a lot of notes. And this is the main reason why I'm late sharing this lesson. You must also do whatever it takes to become comfortable with absolute freedom of motion, which means that your shoulder rest, chin rest, chin rest pad if you use one, and even the clothing you wear must be comfortable and without a single restriction or distraction. You will also need to stretch and breathe as part of warming up and any time your tone begins to suffer or you feel yourself becoming tense, you'll need to stop, breathe, and stretch. Which brings us to Paganini's main quote for this lesson. Truly. Nothing can help your pureness of tone and ultimate expression more than playing fast. Yet, at the same time, nothing can ruin your pureness of tone and ultimate expression more than playing fast. The secret is how you learn to play fast. If your violin has stark strings on it, you'll need to swap those out for lighter ones. And while dolces are the ultimate for playing fast, I'm staying with standard medium gauge strings for now, so I can still boom in the largest concert hall. But for now, I need a lot more practice with the sticks. <laughs> 